Since the Red Magic 11 Pro Plus water cooling system can be removed separately, how much of a performance boost would it offer if it were retrofitted onto the iPhone 17 Pro Max? And XR, I even broke the back panel, which makes the cost of the retrofit skyrocket. After my last teardown of the Red Magic 11 Pro Plus, I discovered this little Easter egg. The 11 Pro Plus water cooling system can likely be retrofitted onto other phones. Today, we'll retrofit the iPhone 17 Pro Max and my XR with the water Water cooling system and then compare the scores before and after the water cooling system changes to see if the red magic's water cooling system is just a gimmick or truly effective we'll also run a rundown of the red magic 11 pro plus after removing the water cooling system to see how much the benchmark score drops after removing it as you can see from the comment section of my last teardown video many people are questioning the effectiveness of the water cooling system Honestly, I doubt it's just for looks, but at least the aesthetics are definitely above average. Let's quickly run the pre-modification benchmarks of the three devices. The Red Magic 11 Pro Plus scored an incredible 4.14 million points, while the XR Modified scored 640,000. For comparison, the original XR with its glass back scored 620,000 points. It seems the metal unibody we modified really helps with heat dissipation. The iPhone 17 Pro Max scored over 2.4 million points, but Android and Apple scores can't be compared side by side. Does anyone know why Apple's and Tutu scores aren't as high? Let's get started. First, disassemble the Red Magic 11 Pro Plus's water cooling system. After heating it up, remove the back cover and peel off the sticker covering the water cooling system. Next, unscrew the cover, remove the cooling system, and finally, remove the wireless charger cable. This allows you to isolate the water cooling unit. It looks truly impressive. Removing the two center screws at the bottom will deactivate the water cooling system because this one underneath is the power contact for the water cooling system. All we need to do later is connect power to this contact and it will start working. We discussed the principle of the small water pump in the previous video. When electricity is applied to the piezoelectric ceramic, it contracts and expands, driving the liquid inside through piston motion. Let's try powering it with a modified Oppo 8650 battery to see if we can activate the water pump. After connecting the wires and testing it, it seems to have no effect. The fan is turning on, indicating the battery has power. If it can't power the piezoelectric ceramic pump, it's probably because the battery voltage is insufficient. The 8650 battery's voltage is 3.7 volts, so we need to find a higher voltage. I saw that the original Red Magic charger can handle 20 volts, so this should be enough. So let's try modifying the Red Magic's data cable to see if we can get it working. Cut the cable's sheath and modify it with tape and tin wick. The red wire goes to the positive terminal and the black wire goes to the negative terminal. Let's test it with a small fan first. Hey, it started successfully and the wind is very strong, which means not only is there electricity, but the voltage is also very high. Now let's see if we can start the water cooling system. Touch the wires to these two contacts. Ah, still no response. Is the voltage really that high? I wonder what's going on. Oh my god, I searched the contacts on the wet breeze side and they require over 70 volts to operate. Holy crap, do you understand? Many electric bike chargers can't reach that voltage. They need to step it up to over 70 volts and I don't have a charger that powerful. Anyway, let's just connect this original booster and test it out. Now that the screws are in place, the water cooling system is running normally. Then open the back cover of the iPhone 17 Pro Max. After opening it, place the running liquid cooling system directly inside the back panel of the iPhone 17 Pro Max and then completely adhere the water cooling to the middle frame of the phone. Cover the back cover of the phone and you can start running the score. Let's take advantage of the break in the runtime to remove the back cover of the XR as well. I feel that the glass on the back of the XR is not of good quality. Look at the feeling of scratching it. Damn, it really broke. Wow, the drop rate is really high. Now that the 17 Pro Max is done running, let's put the XR aside for now and take a look at the 17 Pro Max's scores after the water cooling modification. Come on, 3, 2, 1, reveal. Holy crap, compared to the 2.4 million points before the modification, that's a 200,000 point improvement. But this water cooling thing has this thing, I thought it was just some fancy trick for show. 
What the fuck? This is getting interesting. Let's try the XR again. It was 640,000 points before. Okay, now let's add liquid cooling and let it sit for two and a half minutes later. The final score was 641,581 points. This is essentially the same as the score without water cooling, within experimental air. Perhaps it's because the glass was broken, preventing it from being held down tightly, which prevented the water cooling from being effective. Finally, let's see how much the Red Magic 11 Pro Plus's score drops after removing the water cooling. See, the previous score was 4,140,000. Let's run it straight away. After the same two and a half minutes of rest, the score is 4,120,000. The water cooling system must have contributed to the 20,000 point difference, indicating that the liquid cooling system is indeed effective. However, compared to the 200,000 point difference on the purely passively cooled iPhone 17 Pro Max, this difference is much less significant. After all, the Red Magic 11 Pro Plus has air cooling. This air cooling system primarily dissipates heat from the SOC heatsink and the front heatsink. In fact, the biggest contribution must be the air cooling, which is the core technology of the Red Magic. If brothers want to experience a mobile phone with air cooling, but the budget is not as high as 6,499, you can actually take a look at the previous generation Red Magic 10 Pro Plus. The second hand price of the Red Magic 10 Pro Plus on only more than 3,400, which is almost half the price of Ha New Phone. In the next video, I want to change to a transparent exploration version of a Huawei mobile phone with water cooling.